or, or it's going to be tough. Uh, what I'm concerned about the goaltending, and that's basically been the Achilles heel of the Edmonton Oilers for years. They've they've always been able to score goals. Connor McDavid burst onto this the scene. He's uh, the best player in the NHL for the last you know five six years. Um, he's certainly the best player in this series. But goaltending is always an issue for the Oilers. Now Stuart Skinner was out of his mind in the last few games of the conference finals. But if you look at his overall body of work, it is concerning. Uh, he ranked near the bottom of the NHL in save percentage during the regular season. Neither of these two goaltenders rank in the top 10 in the postseason in save percentage. I know Bobrovsky's got a, a better resume. He's he's had his ups and downs, but uh, the language you guys seem to like is throw up all over yourself. He threw up all over himself in the Stanley Cup finals last year going one and four with a 5.91 goals against average. Um, and what, I, what I'm looking at here is I'm going to go against the grain because most people look to bet unders in the Stanley Cup finals. Uh, most people think the offenses are going to struggle coming off a long layoff. But I'm just concerned with these two goaltenders that are, uh, and specifically Stuart Skinner for Edmonton, who really doesn't have great overall numbers. He was playing out of his mind, but that was like a week ago against the Dallas Stars. Whatever momentum he had, that uh, that groove he was in, is he going to regress back to the goalie that we've seen uh, for the entire season and the majority of the playoffs? I think there's a good chance of that. So the bet I like is the Florida Panthers team total over half a goal for the first period. I think Florida is going to come out strong, and I don't have uh, – too much faith in Stuart Skinner early in this hockey game. I, Jesse, that's what, well done, Sean. Uh, well done in here. We got a bunch of uh, fashionistas in the chat room, Jesse. You don't get that uh, at Wager Talk today. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, let me uh, let me ask you this, though, because if you like Florida uh, over that half a goal in the first period, do you like the over first period altogether as well? You expect Edmonton? Uh, to do just the same. How much do you factor in the layoff here? What, six days, seven days for both teams here? I, I, are we getting rust at this particular point? Yeah, I mean, like I said, that that's the traditional thinking is we're going to get rust. But like I said, nor normally when you get to the Stanley Cup finals, you're looking at uh, goaltenders that are the best in the business because you don't, you don't usually make it to the Stanley Cup finals when your goalie isn't even in the top 10 in save percentage. And, and that's both these goaltenders. And like I said, we, we saw uh, Bobrovsky really vomit all over himself in last year's Stanley Cup finals. Yep. Um, so I think I'm looking for rust for the goaltenders. And, and I'm looking for, uh, you know, Edmonton's got the best power play, not only in the regular season, but that's carried over into the postseason. They got 19 power play goals. Florida is number two with 14 power play goals so far. Um, both teams have great offenses. While I, you know, while there is going to be some rust, I, I would lean over here. 